The camera angle has been changed on this broadcaster, but she wasn't ready to start, as she was busy adjusting her outfit. This new graphics chip offers some good signs. Uh, well, she is not uh, having technical difficulties. This athlete noticed something strange behind this reporter. <laughs> you say? Yes, I say. I'm sorry. This reporter was covering the exit of the fans from the stadium until one of its fans committed this behavior and was sentenced to one year and six months in prison. While this reporter was in front of the live broadcast, this disguised man approached her and intimidated her. Her reaction was shocking. This reporter tries to lift these weights, but his clothes are cut off in a funny and embarrassing situation. So all the power is coming through your hips, now your arms, so make sure- I just ripped my pants, I swear no, to God. No, you did not. I swear to God. Oh my God. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I said I was going to do it last time. Oh my God. This reporter tried to present the news report among a group of elephants, but this curious little elephant interrupted him and put him in a very funny situation. Decimating our entire ecosystem and disrupting the circle of life. And with the rise in drought cases, it is up to us to be guardians of our own natural world, save our wild species, and provide a home. <laughs> <laughs> this reporter thanked the rescuers for their efforts, where she said she would take off her hat and skirt for them. But you don't need them, but we're so thankful to have those uh, folks in our lives. My hat and skirt is off to all of you who participate in that because it is a tough, tough job. Well, for many of you, it's going to be a tough job to take the heat as we continue focusing on the warm up in store for so many of you out west. But many of you. This reporter thought that the live broadcast had been stopped and she danced awkwardly in front of the camera while everyone was watching her. This reporter, Stephanie Abrams, shows how she adjusts her outfit on live TV. Of course, this behavior was embarrassing in front of the live broadcast. Warnings, and then we're going to zoom in and show you where we have one particular warning here. This uh, in Effingham, Illinois, where there's they're adjusting my uh, my jacket there and my outfit. You know, when you sit down, sometimes it gets all bunchy and stuff. You guys know how that is, right? You just don't ever get to show everyone on live TV what it's like to adjust your stuff. You know, when you sit down, sometimes it gets all bunchy and stuff. You guys know how that is. Will Thursday be the hottest day? Presenter Julie Durter reports. This has been impressive. The hot one, I want you to be prepared right now. Start drinking the water. Make sure the kids are hydrated throughout the day. Right now we're in the lower 80s, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, mid 80s for Key West. The wind out of the southwest is providing for the warmth and the humidity that you're feeling. Our feels like temperatures are already in the 90s. In the this reporter showed how strong the winds could be while covering Hurricane Francis in Florida. The wind was strong enough that it would drag them along with the crew. The wind gets squeezed in between two buildings. It has to move faster, and it does so. I've got my crew holding me down, because otherwise we would probably blow away. There you go, producer and photographer holding us here so that we all don't blow away. Good. The camera crew laughed when they heard this from reporter Stephanie Abrams. The audience loved hearing this from her. That moves out tomorrow. So again, another one that's just in and out. It's just how we like it, right? So it doesn't sit around. In the West, though, we do have some... What? What did I say? I don't even know what I said. All right. Uh, we have a lot of snowpack here in the West, which is great because it's been so parched at times in the West. And look at this. Our percentage of average, 200%. This reporter could not suppress the sneeze that surprised her in front of the camera. 51 degrees. Excuse me. I can't help it. Excuse me. Okay, let's get back to the forecast. Obviously, allergies are up. Mold is a key issue. This woman is trying to fix her seat, but she forgot it's live. And as a result, you. Okay. Yeah, Nicole's gonna stick around because we're gonna be talking with her. Okay. Yeah, Nicole's gonna stick around because we're. The guy saved this reporter at the last moment when she was going to be hit by a car. He was the hero in this video. A presto, qui a Montecitorio il vertice è ancora in corso, dicevamo, scusate, quasi un incidente in diretta.
This anchor shows off her legs so that the audience can see the red marks on her body. To the island real quick and then came back in. I got a really awesome tan. Look at this thing on my leg, Cantori. I was sitting like Indian style, and so I got like a really oh, weird looking fried. burn on my leg. Ouch. Yeah, that's hot, isn't it? Yeah, no, yeah, I see you've been working the quads lately too. Yeah, I have actually. It was funny that during the news report, this worker forgot the shopping cart and it kept moving in the live broadcast. Now, the event organizers say it costs about $200,000 to put on a show like this tonight. About half that came from private sponsors. They, they say usually after everything's said and done, uh, the chamber gets about five to $6,000 back from food sales. We're live in Cape Coral tonight. Vanessa Rufus, Wink News Now. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the video and comment down below for your suggestions. Italian Minister Maria Elena Boschi caused a sensation after she caught the attention of the audience because of her beauty and appearance on the day of her inauguration. Everyone was looking at her in high heels, a jacket, and blue pants. Therefore, social network users made a montage of the image of the moment when I signed the position in front of President Giorgio Napolitano. Because the picture was so beautiful. Laterina, Giovanni, eh, del governo uh, Renzi. Here, we can see a man with his girlfriend. When he saw himself on TV, he adjusted the position of his hands. This young man wanted to embrace the sad girl, but she put him in an embarrassing situation when she refused to embrace him. The BBC reporter may have had something in her mouth, so she struggled to keep talking. Uh, here today who said they, they are shook. We're going to do that again. <laughs> this reporter tried to keep her hat from the wind, but she finally fell to the ground. You get past kind of this area, there's a lot of green field, and they think that if it starts to get over there, they should be able to get control of it. Now, the one thing that you will notice is that the 71 where we are is uh, closed to the northbound lane. So if you're trying to get to the... This reporter bullied his female co-worker just for fun while they were on air. This reporter is trying to explain her speech, but this little monkey interrupted her and pulled her hair. Oh my god, it's funny. Like my friend Udi here, now have a forever home. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Ow. This reporter was covering the news report from the middle of the street, but suddenly she got scared and tried to comment on the news. Completamente rase al suolo, sotto, ecco, in questo momento, oddio. This man was interviewed in a traffic jam, but two cars behind them collided and the live broadcast was interrupted. Spell your name and your title. First name is Vic, V-I-K, last name Singh, S-N-G-H. Oh my god. And we just got a car accident on camera. Yep. If you liked the video, give it a like, comment your opinion, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.